Hi there, welcome to this video. My name is Arvind Mota and I'll talk to you about the seven important traits of a smart trader in stock markets. Now, why are some people successful and some are not? That's because they possess these traits which are very important. It's not always about having excellent knowledge or experience in stock markets. You also need to imbibe some personal characteristics and uh, some traits which will define you and which will help you play the game of uh, playing in stock markets. Okay, let's see one by one. The first one is uh, has a trading plan and strategy. Okay, this is very important. The number one criteria for, for trading in stock markets. You need to have a good plan and strategy. Depending on what goal you're going to achieve, you need to build your uh, plan accordingly. What what's going to be your entry point, exit point, or if you're going to uh, invest in the long term, you need to you should be doing your fundamental an analysis and also uh, be sure of what stocks you're going to invest in. So I'll always have a strategy in place and then uh, start trading instead of doing it blindly and uh, hoping for things to happen in your favor. Please do it in a systematic manner. Uh, second thing is. Uh, you should have a lot of discipline and patience okay having a strategy in place uh, could be simple thing but following it with a lot of discipline and endeavor is not easy because you may easily lose your focus and you may change your plan in between after after buying that after entering the trade you may want to change your strategy uh, you may feel it's not right which is fine but again uh, whatever you decide in the first place uh, should be uh, followed fully because it will help you to achieve your goals uh, next thing is uh, being emotionless, okay, not worried about losses because sometimes you will uh, incur losses which is part and parcel of any trader because not all your trades will be profitable but you should not take it to your heart and you know quit uh, quit trading. You should always keep going and try to achieve your results. That's, that's why you are entering the market in the first place. Just like any other investment could be like mutual funds or insurance, whatever your end result is, uh, uh, always have that in mind. Once it is achieved, then uh, you can you can even come out of it and go for reinvestment. That's totally up to you. Okay. Uh, next thing is have a strong risk management. Okay. When I say risk management, you should have a strong stop loss. Should know when to exit the trade in case it's uh, the prices are coming down. You're going to incur a loss. You should exit the trade and come out of it rather than keeping on holding onto the stock, hoping for things to happen. So basically, stick to your strategy. When you're framing your strategy, always keep the stop loss also in its part and parcel of the trading plan as such. Next thing is uh, uh, have a diversified portfolio. Always uh, uh, invest in like three or four stocks. Don't go for uh, same stock, put all your capital in one basket, then that's not going to work. Or always have a plan where you're going to invest in multiple stocks, in multiple sectors so that you protect your capital and also grow your investments. Uh, next thing is you should look at uh, trading as a business and not as a gamble. Okay, when you're looking at it as a business, you'll be systematic and focused. You'll be planning everything to the T. It's just like uh, it's your own business because it's your own money, hard-earned money that you're going to invest. So you should do it in a proper, systematic, and focused manner, and not just like gambling uh, in, in uh, like say a casino. You're just throwing in the dice and waiting for things to happen in your favor. That's not how stock markets function. Okay. Uh, the last point is always keep learning and upgrading uh, your strategy, your skills, how, how to trade, your systems because it's not like uh, one one day you gain all the knowledge, you start trading, you imbibe all these characteristics and then you're good to go. It's not like that. You should always, as long as you're in the market, always keep upgrading yourself, learning new things and keep yourself updated with what's happening in the market. Okay. So uh, if you don't have these traits, it's fine. It's, it's never too late. Please uh, uh, imbibe these characteristics, uh, these traits, and then you, you are good to go. So I hope this video was helpful and uh, wish you all a happy trading. Take care. Bye-bye.